this one is actually, the category would be really be on health. So it really is a meta category kind of involving uh, electromagnetic fields, imagining the future, indoor air quality, measurement methods, and water and moisture. And what the general, uh, talking about ROI, or return on investment, you know, the general concept is if someone has a chronic health condition, like they spoke about this morning with asthma, they had an environmental hygienist go out and assess the building. That seems like common sense. It's just not happening. So if there is some sort of um, chronic health condition, and there are so many of these right now, there, which are really, uh, there are developmental delays, ADHD, autism, fatigue, fibromyalgia, autoimmune disease, uh, dysonotopia, adrenal insufficiency, fatigue. So you know, if we use a hy uh, industrial hygienist or a building biologist and environmental physicians to assess the building and the individual to really get to the root cause of the problem, whether it's mold or toxic chemicals or EMF or physiological issues with the person uh, and injury, uh, this could really help address, uh, save costs and get to the root um, issues, uh, let's see, what did I say, to reduce healthcare and educational costs. Again, this is not just health, but this is dramatically rising up costs for education and special education with the developmental delays. Now, for question two, um, we thought, wh what can we do in the short term research-wise and uh, on animal and human studies on environmental exposures, again, a complete list, a very comprehensive list of mold, mycotoxins, solvents, EMF, toxic chemicals. Again, it can be you know, all magnetic, you know, uh, magnetic fields, electric fields, dirty electricity, wireless radiation, um, and to see what their effects are on the autonomic nervous system, on diabetes, obesity, addiction, uh, addiction to stimulants, alcohol, opioids, and some of these other crises, ADHD and autism. So it's kind of a broad, a broad swath, but there are some common fundamental issues like inflammation that are, contribute to chronic disease. And so um, there are some incredible rising costs here, and I don't think even the, the cost saving as they go right now with insurance and healthcare costs, it's not really sustainable, and I think we really do have to address these things at the root issue. And this group kind of has the key to some of these key elements.